Hello my crypto friend, this is Musa the Giant from Deben, South Africa. You can call me MTG. I'm back at you with another step-by-step -step tutorial video where I will show you how to use Vala and your Capitec Bank account to create and build a diversified automated crypto portfolio step-by-step. -step starting from as little as 50 rents. So by the time you watch this Capitec video tutorial, I am assuming that you have already registered your Vala Exchange wallet account, downloaded the app, verified your Vala account, and if you are an FNB account holder, you would have watched that video. If you are a Standard Bank account holder, you would have watched this video. Now, this one is for you, Capitec Bank users. I am going to be showing you exactly how to link your Capitec Bank account with uh, your Vala account so that you can dollar cost average your way to the moon and beyond. So without any further ado, let's get to the meat and potatoes. Two things you will need to open on your smartphone is your beautiful, beautiful Capitec app. And log in into your Vala account. All right. So the first thing you're going to do or, the, or part one of this video tutorial or part one of this process is to add beneficiaries. Um, into your Capitec bank and then schedule payments. So let's do part one of this video tutorial. So here on Vala app, make sure that you are on the home tab just like I am and then click on the auto buy button. And then um, if you are doing this for the first time, there will be some introductory information that you need to go through until you get to this page here. So when you get to this page, all you do is to click this down arrow and you're going to have a list of all the cryptocurrencies that you can auto buy using your uh, Capitec bank account. All right. So obviously we're going to start with the biggest one in the whole entire world, which is Bitcoin. So just click on Bitcoin and you're going to have the introductory information that explains the basics. For instance, they tell you that auto buy limit per, per deposit is 10,000 rands. Deposits exceeding this limit will be credited as a ZAR in your Vala account. Deposit only from a bank account in your name, all right? Number three, do not deposit the same amount more than once per day. And number four, no cash, no checks, only EFTs accepted, all right? So very important, use this reference to automatically buy Bitcoin um, using your Capitec account. So here is the reference right here. It begins with BTC because we are going to be auto buying BTC on Vala through our Capitec bank account. So these are the Vala Sanat bank account details. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this as a beneficiary on our Capitec bank. So the first step is to copy the account number from the Vala app, then switch to your Capitec Bank app, like so, and then press transact. And then right at the top of there, you have something that says pay beneficiary. Just click on that. And then you want to add a beneficiary. So you can just click the plus button here and then click on the third option that says bank account, right? Because you want to enter beneficiaries bank details. So click on here. Beneficiary name, just click in that box. Uh, we're going to enter Vala. Okay, let's call it auto buy BTC on Vala, right? And then we already copied the account number from the Vala app. So we're just going to paste it here like so. Choose bank. So here we know that Vala banks with Standard Bank. So select Standard Bank. And then 
Capitec automatically uh, picks up the Valar company because it's a registered and public company. So just click on Valar, PTYLTD. And then now we do have the beneficiary name that we entered ourselves and the Capitec Bank um, automatically automatically picked up a VALA PTYLTD but now we need to specify the what the reference so let's just click in the reference box switch back to our VALA account and just click once on the reference code you don't even have to press and hold just you just press press it on once and then it's copied automatically switch back to your Capitec bank and just paste the reference that you copied from your VALA Account. As you can see, it begins with BTC and because we are adding Bitcoin and it ends with some characters. So it's very important that you double check the reference that is entered correctly. And then choose notification type. Uh, I'm not going to choose any notification type. I will just click the add button to add this as a recipient. And obviously you'll be required to enter your um, Capitec pin. Confirm. Just like that, we have added Bitcoin into our Capitec account as a recipient because we want to schedule payments later. So we're just going to add all the cryptocurrencies as recipients here. And then after that, we will do part two of this tutorial, which, was, which is going to be uh, scheduling payments. So for now, we are not going to pay now. We're just going to click the done button to say that we are done adding this recipient. And when we scroll to the bottom, we can now see a, a beneficiary called auto buy PTC on Vala. Let's go ahead and add another beneficiary. So we're going to go back to our uh, Vala account and we're going to close this window. We're going to click on auto buy and then click this down arrow here. When you get to this page, the second biggest cryptocurrency in the world, of course, is Ethereum. So we're going to press on Ethereum. And the same information is given to us that we saw when we opened this for the first time for Bitcoin. But now notice that this one begins with ETH for Ethereum. So this reference is for Ethereum. But the first thing we're going to copy is the account number. So let's just press once there, switch back to our Capitec Bank and then press call, uh, transact pay beneficiary click the plus button to add a beneficiary click the third option bank account beneficiary name we're going to call this one auto buy if for ethereum on vala we're going to paste the account number that we copied from vala and then we're going to choose the bank vala banks with standard bank and then press on vala pty ltd now we need the reference let's go back to our app and then copy the reference like so switch back to our capitec paste the reference and then click add and enter the pin and just like that we have added the second beneficiary press done scroll down you should now see your new beneficiaries we have uh, added so far let's go back to our vala app and close this window click auto buy click the down arrow here this time we're going to add XRP as a beneficiary. Scroll down a little bit. Notice that now this reference for XRP begins with XRP. We're going to copy the account number, switch back to our Capitec Bank app, click on Transact, and then click on Pay Beneficiary, then click Add Beneficiary button there. Bank account, beneficiary name. We are going to call this one Auto Buy. XRP on Vala. Then we're going to paste the account number that we copied from the uh, from the Vala app, and then choose the bank Vala Banks with Standard Bank, and then press Vala PTY Ltd. We now need a reference. Switch back to your Vala app and copy the reference that begins with XRP this time. Go back to your Capitec Bank app, paste it, press Add, and enter your PIN. Confirm. Voila, now we have three beneficiaries. Let's just press done, scroll down, and we should now see uh, beneficiaries, BTC, ETH, and XRP. Let's add uh, two more, all right? You do not necessarily need to add all the top five that I recommend. It, it would just depend on your affordability. You can just add one recipient and then schedule payments, as I will show you, right? So we're gonna close this one. We're gonna add more, two more. 
uh, cryptocurrencies that we want to auto buy on Vala using our Capitec Bank account. So let's just click on auto buy again. Click the cryptocurrency down arrow. This time choose Solana and then scroll down and copy the account number. Switch back to your uh, Capitec Bank app. Transact. Pay beneficiary. Add beneficiary bank account. Beneficiary name. We're going to call it this one auto buy sol sol for solana on vala then we are going to paste the account number and vala banks with standard bank so choose standard bank and then click on vala pty ltd now we need the reference switch back to your vala app copy the reference number notice that it begins with sol for solana and then switch back to your capitec bank app and paste the copied reference press add enter your pin confirm Press done, switch back to your Vala app, close, auto buy, cryptocurrency, select cryptocurrency. This time we're going to add uh, AVEX, copy the account number, transact, pay beneficiary, add beneficiary, bank account, beneficiary name, we're going to call this one auto buy, uh, AVEX on Vala. Paste the account number, choose bank, the bank with standard bank, click Vala, reference number is, go back to your Vala, copy the reference number, go back to your Capitec bank, paste the AVEX reference, and then click add, put your number, confirm, press done. Then again, just to review, we have now added five cryptocurrencies um, that we want to auto buy on Vala using our Capitec Bank app. All right, so we have Vala, we have, I mean, sorry, we have AVEX, we have BT BTC, which is Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, we have Solana, we have XRP. But as I said, uh, you can just choose uh, maybe um, more or less of these cryptocurrencies. So we, when we go back to the Vala app and then just click on the close button here and go back to auto buy, you will notice that uh, there are other cryptocurrencies that you can also auto buy as well, uh, like uh, BNB, uh, Shiba Inu. Those are the only additional that you can uh, select here because others like USDT and um, and USDC, USDC, those are stable coins. They do not gain value over time. They are just uh, sit as a at a value of one dollar per coin. So there's no point in dollar cost over averaging into uh, stable coins. All right. So now we have done part one. We have completed part one of this process. So the second part is to actually schedule payments all right so we're going to switch back to our capitec bank app and click on transact and then the next step now is for us to actually schedule payments so we're going to click on pay beneficiary and then we will go down to the beneficiaries that we have added uh, because avex is at the top of the list that we just added we're going to press the uh we're going to press on it and then um the amount that uh, you want to we want to dollar cost, we want to use to buy avex on a, a monthly basis let's just allocate 100 rent for avalanche you can allocate from a minimum of one i mean of 50 rent but uh, for avex we're going to allocate uh, 100 rent payment type it says once by default but we want to do this every month so we're going to click on where it says um where it says um pay uh, just once click this uh, drop down arrow here and then select recurring and then uh, choose frequency so how often do you want to buy avex on vala so we're going to select choose frequency and we want to we can do it weekly you can do it uh, fortnightly you can do it monthly you can do it a uh, month end or on the last day of the month you can do it quarterly you can do it quarterly month and buy uh buy annually or buy annually month and or annually so in other words once a year so for these demonstration purposes i want us to select monthly but if you get paid uh, on a fortnight basis you can choose fortnightly but again for these demonstration purposes we are going to select monthly right 
and then uh, start date you need to indicate when do you want the first payment to go through so in my example i get paid on the 25th of every month so uh, but i will select 26 i just want to give it a little bit of uh, you know a breather room so that in case the 25th falls on a weekend or holiday i do not uh, you know uh, have a problem so i have just selected 26th of october and then press the set button and then i want it to run for a year so the end date is going to be the 26th of um, October 2024 all right so I'm almost there so I will press 26th of October 2024 press the set button so here is just a, a review of what we just did we are indicating that we want to allocate 100 rands uh, as a recurring payment that is going to go through uh, monthly starting from the 26th of uh, October ending um, on the 26th of October 2024 the reference is AVEX because we want to auto buy AVEX on VALA and because everything is looking good we're just going to click the add button here and confirm that's it we just scheduled the payment for our first recipient or our first cryptocurrency and then just click the done button and then we need to do the second one now right so we can uh, go back to the starting page just to show you the whole process again so i'll just press the back button and uh make sure that transact is selected and then click on pay beneficiary and then scroll down to the recipients because we've already added our beneficiaries and uh, this time we're going to add we're going to schedule payments for btc or which is bitcoin so just click on auto buy btc on var and then um we want to allocate uh, let's allocate let's allocate uh how much let's just allocate 150 to bitcoin right 150 rents every month and we want this to happen uh, uh every month so payment type by default is just once so we're going to click on these three dots here and then say um recurring choose a recurring and then a frequency click on frequency choose frequency we chose monthly and then start date is going to be the same as the previous one i want my one to start on the 26th of um october but if i wanted it to, it to start on a different month maybe on the 26th of november i can do that as well but i want it to kick start on, on the 26th of uh, October which is the current month and then uh, once you selected the date press the set button and then uh, scroll down a bit and choose end date so how long do you want this to run for you can let it run for three months six months 12 months 24 months 36 months and so on and so forth but I want this one to run until um, June 2024 until the 26th of june 2024 so i'm just choosing random dates like this so that i can just to demonstrate that you can you know choose any date you want you don't have to make it exactly three months or exactly six months or exactly 12 12 months you can just choose seven months for example or 13 months or 17 months or whatever whatever it is that is uh, flexible for you right so we have, we have just added everything the way we want so the last uh, step for us to do is to click the add button and then uh, this is just a um, confirmation confirmation window to say that we want to pay 150 rent uh, to the registered beneficiary called auto buy btc on vala using the btc reference and because this is good just press the confirm button and just like that we have just uh, scheduled the second payment for btc right and then press the done button and then uh, as you can see our payments there are now two now without having to go back to the start starting page we can just click the the plus button here to add another scheduled payment so add payment and then we're gonna go down to ETH this time around and we want to allocate uh, let's allocate 50 rents to uh, to BTC right I just I mean to Ethereum I just want to I'm doing this just to remind you that uh, we are uh, the minimum you can uh, schedule payments uh to auto buy cryptocurrencies on vala is just 50 rands right and then select a recurring and then uh, frequency we're going to choose frequency we want to do this monthly and uh, start date we want this one to start uh, let's just ch choose a different month this time around right uh, i want this one to start in november 20 uh 27 because it will be on monday and then click on set 
Uh, but if you want to be consistent, you can just choose the same starting and ending date for all your cryptocurrencies. I'm just choosing random dates in this example because, uh, again, I just want to, see, to show you that it's flexible that way as well, right? So it's going to go through monthly. Start date is uh, 27th of November 2023. End date, I want this one to end uh, in November 26th. November 26th. 2024 all right and then uh the reference begins with eth because this is the ethereum um beneficiary and then just click the add button and confirm and bada boom bada bang press the done button that's two now we have three again you do not have to do all of them it depends on your budget, how many you can afford and how much you can afford per crypto. You can just do one and allocate 50 rands, all right? Uh, you can just do one and allocate 1,000 rands. Or you can split 100 rands into, uh, you know, five different cryptocurrencies or more. Uh, but I, I, I always, um, you know, recommend that you uh, spread your investment across multiple cryptocurrencies, no matter how small it is. Even if it's just 100 rand, you would allocate 50 rand on, Bit on Bitcoin and 50 rand on uh, Ethereum. If it's 200 rand, you can allocate 50 rand across uh, four different cryptocurrencies because we are creating and building a diversified crypto portfolio that's the aim that's the goal that's the mission all right so let's add another th um, uh, beneficiary here which is going to be the fourth one we have uh, ethereum bitcoin and avalanche let's add another one so click the plus button click payment and then scroll down we're going to add solana this time and we want to allocate uh let's allocate uh 300 trends to solana mm, solana is very lucky today right and we are doing a recurring payment and frequency it's going to be monthly and uh, start date we want this one to start um, on this month on the 26th of october we're setting the start date let us now set the end date we want it to end and in november i mean sorry in december 2025 hmm. on the 26th of November 2025. So Solana is very, very lucky. We're going to be doing this um, for a very long time. All right. Remember, the bull run is coming uh, from the 24th, I mean, from 2024. So you might want to dollar cost average longer so that you accumulate, uh, you know, more cryptocurrencies uh, before the bull run so that when the bull run happens, you will, uh, you know, uh, benefit more returns on your investment. All right. But having said that, remember that none of this is uh, financial advice. These, these are just tutorial videos that are showing you how you can actually grow your money uh, over time, not overnight. So we have just scheduled this one. So let's just go ahead and um, press add and confirm and click the done button we have one more to go because we added uh, another one so let's just go back to add and click on payment this time around we're going to select auto buy xrp on novala and we're going to allocate let's allocate um let's allocate 200 trends to uh you know to um, to xrp of course you can allocate the same amount across all the cryptocurrencies you can allocate uh, different amounts just like we're doing here for demonstration purposes across different uh, cryptocurrencies and you can also um, choose different uh, start and end dates just like we are doing here for demonstration purposes but if you want to simplify things you can just make everything uniform same amount to across all cryptocurrencies same starting and ending date all right so we want this one to recur and the frequency is still monthly and we want the start date to be on the 26th of this month and we want uh, to accumulate this one over a period of um, of 12 months so we're going to uh, scroll across to uh, 26 or 26 of October 2024 that's 12 months from now all right so I will just select 26th or let me select 25th because 26th is going to be on the weekend so 25th of October which will be Friday set and add and confirm 
bada boom bada bang what do you know we have five different cryptocurrencies which are the biggest cryptocurrencies and which happen to be uh, blockchain cryptocurrencies uh, as our beneficiaries and we just scheduled payments so that we can accumulate these cryptocurrencies and as you can see we allocated a different amounts to each cryptocurrency and uh, there are different uh, start and end dates as I have been telling you that I am doing this just for uh, demonstration purposes in your case you you may prefer to allocate the same amount across all your cryptocurrencies and the same uh, start and uh, and and end date i know that i keep rep rep repeating myself but it's just that i want to to make sure that you are getting this correctly so now from this point on there's nothing else you can do what will happen is that every single month uh, on a specified date uh, these amounts of monies will be deducted from your uh, Capitec account automatically for you and they will be transferred to your um, vala wallet and they will automatically buy you the cryptocurrencies that you selected in this list, right? So that means that when you open your Vala account, uh, after each and every uh, payment, scheduled payment uh, took place and go to your wallet, you will start to see all the cryptocurrencies that are accumulating uh, automatically for you because you just decided to be smart and automate the whole thing so that you can focus on other things in your life, knowing that you are investing wisely you are creating and building a diversified crypto portfolio all right so in closing uh, we just finished recording a tutorial video on how to uh, link your capital bank account with your vala account so that you can auto buy uh, different cryptocurrencies uh, on a monthly basis on a weekly basis or how, how whatever frequency you choose all right so if you feel that this video has been informative for you uh please please uh, feel free to share the link to this beautiful page with uh, um, as many people as as you possibly can um the, you know the people that you think might also benefit uh, to this uh, crypto investing crash course and uh, if you are not in our whatsapp group yet just click on join our students whatsapp group so that you also stay tuned and you can also ask questions and uh, get support almost instantly on a daily basis. And I would also like to remind you to download your free crypto vocabulary corp by clicking on this button. And if you want to go through our, our disclaimer page, so just click on the disclaimer button here. And if you want to follow me on, um, on, uh, on Facebook and Twitter, just click on these buttons. If you want to uh, chat with, with me directly, you can just click on the WhatsApp button here. So with all of that being said, I hope this video has been informative and I hope that you enjoyed the entire uh, crypto investing crash course thus far. I thank you for your time and I apologize that this video is this long, uh, but my name is Moza the Giant from Deben, South Africa, and you can call me MTG. My mission is to onboard at least 10,000 participants into the cryptocurrency investing uh, space and you can help me by sharing the very same cryptocurrency investing crash course with as many people as you possible can bye bye for now